go ahead and take out your ultra low attachment plate from the CO2 incubator. So all of these are your IPSC colonies in suspension. So if you remember from the previous video, the colonies were actually curved and now they have completely flattened. So this is day two of the culture. So go ahead and take the ultra low attachment plate to the biosafety cabinet and we're gonna be changing media today. So we're gonna be using EV20 to go ahead and continue on with embryo body formation. So what you'll do is transfer all the colonies into a 50 mil conical tube. Remember, these could break fairly easily, so be careful when you're pipetting up and down. So add them very carefully to the 50 mil conical tube. Make sure that the setting for the pipette gun is set to really low so that you could dispense it at a trip. Also be sure that you have pre-warmed your high glucose DMEM and your EV20 media so they could be ready to use. Today we're gonna to be using high glucose DMEM to rinse our cells because high glucose DMEM is used to make our EV20 media. Once all the colonies are collected, let them settle to the base of the conical tube. So if you notice, the media actually looks a little cloudy. That is a completely normal. It's cloudy because there are a lot of dead cells. When you're making embryo bodies, that's actually a very natural process. You will see a lot of cell death, so do not think that that's contamination. That's totally normal. You're going to want to let your cells settle for about two minutes. Be very patient because you do not want to take up any of the colonies. Go ahead and set up a glass pasture pipette because you will be using that to vacuum up all of the spent media. Today we're actually going to be using micro pipette tips to slow down the suctioning. So when you turn on the vacuum, pick up a micro pipette tip, and this will slow down the vacuuming whenever you're taking up the spent media. So go ahead and take up all of the spent media again. Be careful not to disturb any of the cells at the base of the conical tube. You will go ahead and change the serological pipette because you use that to collect all of the cells. Get a fresh glass serological pipette. You will be using this to add the DMEM to your cells. Again, we're using DMEM high glucose to rinse off our cells. We will be using five milliliters of the high glucose DMEM to wash our cells. So the reason why we are washing is because we want to get rid of all the traces of the first media that we used. Every time you rinse the cells, make sure you let them settle before you take up any of the DMEM. So our previous media actually contained knockout serum. So we don't want traces of knockout serum to continue on in the culture because our EB20 media does not have knockout serum. So we are gonna wanna rinse quite a few times.
If you disturb the cells, go ahead and let them settle before you take up any of the media again. And we're gonna go ahead and wash the cells five times with five mils of high glucose DMEM each time. And again, just let the cells settle after every single rinse. After you've rinsed off your cells five times and you've taken up the last of the DMEM, we will be resuspending the cells with the EV20 media and plating them onto new wells on an ultra low attachment plate. Thanks for watching everyone.